was then in 1990 that uh, Nelson Mandela was then released in June. It was a momentous time for all of us. People absolutely celebrating. They didn't know what to do. It was just, it was just unbelievable. Well, we heard about it. It was towards the weekend that this was going to be released, and uh, we were so excited because we've never seen him before. So we were imagining how he looks like, how tall he is, how big he is. We only knew about his name. Honestly, it was actually a lot of excitement. And when people got up on Monday morning, went to work, everybody's asking the question, what now? Where do we go from here? We happened to have a plant general meeting at the time, and we were reporting other issues, and then this came up as a, from the floor. I addressed all the workers, including the shop stewards. We need to build a, a car for Nelson Mandela of our own hands, of our own time, and we'd be presented from the workers of Mercedes-Benz and of, of NUMSA. And everybody just accepted it. So it was taken up with management. When the shop stewards came back, they came back dancing and singing and everybody stood up and the shop stewards announced that management has accepted that we can build this car. Now it was a question of the how, who's going to foot the bill. And they had to do all the calculations and then they asked what is going to be our contribution. And then the workers said, well, our contribution can be that we work one hour extra over time, free of charge, so, so that we meet them halfway. Immediately, a plaque was made for this car. So everybody knew that this is the car. From station to station, there would be like a sort of official handover from the one area to the next. There was sort of like a, a ceremony. If they finish their part, they'll do the sing. And if you have to do your part, they'll do your part. After you finish your part, if you've got time to sing, then you do the sing. And that's the way it went right through. Ay, 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 oh, ay, 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 oh, ah. they, they literally put it on a trolley and carried it down to hand it over to the guys. And they were like sort of toy toying, marching, singing gloriously. It was all about the passion that they had for, for building this vehicle. It strengthened the relations between the union and the, and the company because from 89 towards the building of the car, things changed. A car, of course, is made of many small parts and uh, many people constitute the, the population of South Africa. It's like imagining the country as different races which you put together South Africa belongs to all the living, black, pink or white. Like small parts of the unit that we've built were brought together by Majiba and are all moving forward today. They embraced the idea, they embraced Nelson Mandela's release, they embraced that there would come change. And they themselves also saw this as a method and as an opportunity to embrace change and unity and provide unity within the workforce. This car was from the NUMSA members, from the workers in general, to Nelson Mandela. His response was that this red car would not remind me only of NUMSA's colors, would remind me of the blood that is spilled by many South Africans, whether it's black or white, for peace, freedom in South Africa. On that special day, the workers of this company made a tremendous gesture. That was convincing evidence that in South Africa, there are many who are willing to work together and make sacrifices to build our nation. On the day when, when I made that speech and handover, my message to Nelson Mandela was that this is a labor of love. Mm -hmm.